Greetings. Today we are going to talk about the course Drone Systems and Control. This course was sponsored by Swayan, which is an initiative by Central Government of India. This is all about capacity development for uh, manpower development for unmanned aerial vehicle technology. This particular program was sponsored by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology to facilitate students in various engineering colleges to learn about this advanced drone technology and use this to build future systems for various applications. This drone technology gaining a lot of attention. Right? This, if you look at this drone technology, it is involving mechanical, aerospace, electronics, electrical and computational. It is a pure interdisciplinary science where we have different concepts from different engineering domain comes together, build a futuristic system. This has been widely used in civil military applications. If you look at a civil, I can look at an agricultural space where I can think of how do we use drone to look at production, precision farming, and also looking at how we can enable the um, advanced support structure for farmers. We can also looking at the building constructions, large area reconstructions to understand how every day progress. And we can also look at infrastructure. We can also look at large building, large infrastructure, health monitoring aspect of it. In fact, we can go into mining and industrial applications also, where it's very difficult to operate uh, uh, for a human to go and inspect, drone can play an important role for inspections and industrial applications too. In fact, it can just be used for surveillance of a large infrastructure like uh, mining industries or even the petrol industries where uh, the fuel being extracted and been sent over a large pipes, health of these pipes can be monitored. That's an interesting use case of this drone technology, which is penetrating. Not only that, it will also be used for logistic purposes of near uh, field to a large distance coverage to transport important goods from one location to another location. This course has five modules. The first module talks about mathematical modeling of the drone. Second module talks about sensors, various sensors, internal and external sensors to understand drone state and the context in which it's flying. The third module talks about the flight control development, how the controller can be developed to get the speed, attitude and position control system. Then the fourth module talks about the navigation aspects of it, how you can do global path planning, local path planning. Basically, that's when autonomy aspects of the drone will be introduced, how the drones can detect obstacles, how they can plan the local path to reach from one point to another point. Finally, the models talks about important aspects of localization and autonomous operations of the drones. The first module is talking about mathematical model. We look into the closer aspects of the entire system. We will be talking about motor propeller system, electronic speed controller integrated with the frame and how this can be mathematically modeled how this model can be implemented in MATLAB and MATLAB also facilitate showing a different sensor aspect of it. Now let's look at various sensors that we will be looking at. The drone has internally IMU, inertial measurement unit. It also has global positioning system GPS. This is the RTK GPS, which will give you a precision GPS system. You have an another GPS antenna, which will have a single GPS system. It can be L1 or L5. L5 is a navic based systems, which will give you the position and velocity, but these operates at a different sampling rate. We also have to understand how we can fuse internal sensor and these sensor to get our state estimation. That part will also be covered. How these aspects of modeling these sensors and estimation of these sensors in MATLAB will also be covered as part of the lecture. From there, we'll be looking at more detailed aspects of the uh, flight control system. We can have a different flight control system and we can also have a nano flight controller system. How we develop the speed control, attitude control and position control, how we can implement those control system directly onto the open source Pixax hardware through MATLAB will also be covered as part of the lecture. 
And finally, we'll talk about the integrated system, right? Where you can have external sensor mounted here. It could be a camera or it could be a LiDAR, a radar pointing downstairs. How these sensors can be used to talk about autonomy, right? When I talk about autonomy, it's also part of sense and avoid how to detect an obstacle, how do we do a precision landing, how do I localize where am I will also be covered. Interesting aspect of this course, it's not just theory, it also has the uh, real-time simulation aspect of it. That's a very important part, how we can bring these simulations as close as possible to the real world and that will help you to design the controller, implement the autonomous system with the limited practical trials. Remember, even though we are not talking in details about the uh, how communication happens, we will also be talking about how different COM systems which is available. This is like a telemetry system which will be used to transmit the data to the ground station. We will also talk about how one can use the controller interfaces and how these controller interfaces can also be shown in MATLAB. So you can use simulation as well as hardware in the loop if you are interested in the future. The, this course will give you a coverage of theory and simulation so that the students can straight away go and implement practical demonstration, look at various applications. This course is all about multi-rotor system. We will be talking about this course where applicable for quadcopters or hexacopter or octacopter systems, right? We will not be covering upon fixed wing VTOL concepts in this particular course. But we will talk about some of the technology which is common whether it is a multi-rotor system or fixed wing VTOL. Lot of autonomy is uh, common but what we will also talk about is if whether it is a one kg payload or 2 kg payload, payload doesn't really matter. This will talk about more on technology development aspect of it, whether we can integrate a GPS sensor, you will be seeing the radar sensor in the front, how we can fuse them together, how we can add a camera to get the context in which these drones flies, how we can safely operate sensor avoid for a larger drone or even for such a smaller drones or even for the nano drones. That's a wide variety which will be covered in this particular course. Please understand this aspects of it. This course is more about technology understanding of control, navigation and autonomy. These nano drones or even the small drones or micro drones can have a camera. It could be analog camera, it could be digital camera. This camera data can be transferred directly to the computer or one can just transmit the entire data to the goggles. One can also use goggles to directly control this nano drone. This nano drone has a FPV camera. This can transmit to the uh, goggles. I can see and I can just look at what drone sees in the first person view and I can use this for inspections and surveillance purposes. This course is about technological understanding of multi-rotor system. Either it is a small category or medium category or micro category or nano category. It's all about how the flight control system to be developed, how the navigation system to be developed, how autonomous operation for these drones to be developed will be covered in this course. Thank you.